Assalamu alaikum, welcome back MSURian. So today I'm here in the MSU library and we're recording our new episode for the MSU Talk podcast. So if you're wondering who I am with today, they are... Huh, huh. <laughs> if you really want to know who the speakers are, please drop by here in our MSU Talk podcast channel and just watch it, all right? So stay tuned for any updates regarding that. Okay. Thank you. Well, guys, sorry you guys had to, you know, have that little teaser run up. So once again, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back. Another year, another season and today's episode. Yes, I know. You see, what is he doing over there? So that is a bit of a teaser of what I'm doing for this current episode because in today's episode, it's all about content creation and how we can transform all of your ideas into digital gold. So, I'm sure you're wondering, what is content creation? But because this is a subject that everyone knows nowadays. So, I'd like to share with you our wizards and witches of the content of today, who's going to share all their ideas and all the key points that you wish to understand for content creation. So, joining me here in our MSU Learning and Resource Center of MSU Library is Shelley. Shelley, how are you? Hi, thank you for inviting me. Thank you. And very much, sir. Who are you? You're first here. <laughs> I, I wish to know you more, sir. Who are you, sir? Hi, my name is Mama Iqmal Hanif. Um, saya mengajar kat sini as a lecturer. Oh. Tapi lepas ni kita akan kupas lah. Kita akan lagi jump into it. Okay. okay. So kita bagi Imran dulu. Peluang untuk Imran bercakap. Oh, ish, terima kasih Tuan sebab bagi saya peluang. Okay. So let's just jump right into what content creation is all about. So kita tanya kita be expert. Our lecturer, in, uh, our Madam Shelley here is not only a lecturer for our broadcasting students she's also the program manager for the diploma in public relations yes am i right yes uh, the long term is diploma in public relations and entertainment management there you uh, go entertainment is the key there huh yeah. so mm-hmm. please mm. dive in apa kupas sikit ah mm. apa what is content creation is all about all right so basically i think that everybody nowadays they already have the little ideas of what is content creation what is content and as simple as you go to the restaurant you create a few short reels and whatnot that is already content all right so uh, in a proper definition it, it is actually a process of sharing information sharing ideas and you deliver it it can be in terms of, in the form of videos it can be in the form of image short videos or even if let's say we go uh, deeper it also can be in the form of short films if let's say we talk about TV and content huh, mm. there you go that is the, all the things I'm sure some of you pick, eh wait a minute what Madam Shelley said yeah, I think I'm doing content creating I'm doing reviews I'm doing short films Thank you very much. So, Ikma, what is content creation for you? Ah, I'm sure you guys are wondering who Ikma is actually. Ah. Ikma, introduce Kate. Who are you? <coughs> um, hi, everyone. Uh, I, I, my name is Ikma Hanif, like I said tadi. I'm a YouTuber, actually. Ah, okay. I ada buat content dekat YouTube. But I do a storytelling lah. Mm. Uh, I tak buat review, tak buat pergi kedai makan. And for me, content creator ni is the one yang produce a entertain how to say it entertaining entertaining hmm. things untuk orang-orang melihat di social media hmm. kalau dulu content made, content creator ni we can say as someone yang keluar dekat television tapi bila dah bergenerasi ni dah berubah zaman content creator ni is the one yang appear dekat our phone hmm. uh, so if you buat video you upload your reaction your review so actually you dah terjerumus dalam content creating Ah, so for me itulah content creator the one yang bagi happiness to others yang share motivation to other people that's content creator ha, so there you go a YouTuber here but actually our Ikma here is actually a lecturer of graphic design betul tak? ya yeah, betul, betul, betul. Ah, there you go see how he dives right into the literally of learning of how to be a content creator and actually being a lecturer for graphic designs and of course our Madam Shelly here uh, famous ni famous ni <laughs> dekat campus kita ni <laughs> mengajar kita student broadcasting uh. yes. so selain daripada broadcasting graphic designers yang boleh content 
who else can become content creators ni? It's too broad kan Ikma? I can say that everybody can be a content creator macam I cakap at the beginning of our conversation kan? As simple as you record something and you publish dah boleh jadi content creator. Dia akan jadi uh, nampak macam bagi lecture sikit but Okay, please bear with me. Uh, it's going to be three things that you need to focus on. If, let's say, you are planning to be a proper content creator, you need to know uh, what are the content that you want to deliver, all right? And who is your target audience? Because nowadays, we have so much platforms. We are all digitalized. Like what Iqmal said, kan? Iqmal cakap, oh, sekarang ni siapa yang dah keluar ikut phone tu? Meaning to say, they are a content creator. Betul. Kan? Influencer. Dulu-dulu, mak-mak kita tengok dekat TV je, oh, ni art. Disney uh, kan oh. sekarang ni you just create the content through social media platforms and you already be famous kan dah boleh collab dengan celebrity and what not alright and you need to choose the right channels lah untuk you distribute your content kalau you buat content yang lengthy full of macam uh, written forms and what not descriptive pergilah dekat Facebook kan hmm. kalau buat content jedak-jeduk <laughs> Jedak jeduk kan? uh. Things yang like dancing you know? oh, Might as well you just go to TikTok Huha huha ha, lah Huha ni. huha oh, okay. Happening content kan ha, Macam tu lah I see So Ikmal What defines Who in content creator for you? Content creator ni For me It has a different level hmm. So As a content creator You need to choose Which which level yang you nak stay Adakah you nak jadi seorang content creator yang Level dia dekat atas Atau menjadi content creator yang level dekat bawah Hmm. Apa saya masukkan kat sini Dekat luar sana There's a lot of content creators True. But we can see that Content awak ni Ilmiah ataupun tidak hmm. ha, Macam Mary Shirley cakap Jedak jeduk Saya tak cakap Yang buat jedak jeduk ni Seorang yang tak berilmiah But That content creator Give perception to others Dia akan describe Oh dia ni macam ni rupanya If you bring a good content Content yang Memberi Sebab untuk orang tengok Dengan niat yang baik They will be a good content creator lah And kita kena ingat, content creator yang levelnya tinggi akan stay lama dalam social media. Tapi content creator dengan penyampaian yang rendah, dengan they delivered just a dancing video, then you takkan lama pun. Maybe dalam sehari dua you viral, after that you akan hilang. Itu adalah content creator right now. Reality lah senang cakap. Ha, That okay. is, sorry Iqmal just Please. to continue kan macam what Iqmal said uh, we have two different levels yeah. that is why education is really important yes. for you to become a very uh, educated and inspiring bagi content yang motivate orang lain kan macam dia cakap benda yang boleh memberi actually benefit others and bring impact to others that's why education is really important for you to really learn the right step on how to create a proper and a good content Okay, so since we talk kita kita dah sentuh sikit-sikit eh we have sentuh a bit of what they have to do, their targets. So now let's just jump right. What is the key skill? Skill eh uh, untuk orang all these future content creators out there kita yang students or even future students of MS students, what if they want to be a content creator, what skill they need to do? Okay. Open your notes, lecture. <laughs> Madam Michelle nak buka lecture ni. Izin ke Al, Iqmal? Silakan, silakan. Kan? Walaupun nanti Iqmal mungkin akan oh, explain yeah, lebih yeah. sebab dia dah buat konten banyak kan. Alright. But just a basic or general set of skills kan. Uh, you need to be all rounders. Okay. All rounders. Kita kena jadi orang yang boleh buat pelbagai benda. Right. You need to master writing skills. You kena tahu editing skills. Or even yang paling penting and crucial nowadays is communication. Hmm. Alright. If let's say you orang baru baru involved in social media you wanted to do something yang beneficial to others you nak call up mungkin you nak buat islamic content I don't know or I am produce content-content islamic alright you need to have a really good communication skills to approach them to call up with them you cannot simply write them a text yang very informal alright that is very important for you to master communication skills then master another skills juga hmm nampak tak I like the point where sometimes people forget eh kita nak buat content ni, nak collab ni, kita ingat we just like ask somebody, eh, hey, can you collab with me? Eh, uh, cannot lah. PR sure. skills, eh, you have to learn eh, how to communicate with others. So, that was uh, from textbook answers. <laughs> uh, see, uh, oh, kita yang abang kita uh, with experience, what would you say? Key skills. Um, as a content creator itself, I perasan yang if you want to be a content creator, you must do it by your own self. Sebab kadang-kadang, kita nak buat content kita, tak semestinya orang akan faham apa yang kita nak. Saya so, contoh I bayar Imran Imran You tolong I editing semua Adakah the outcome Akan sama macam yang saya nak So at first To be a content creator Kita kena belajar dulu How to do editing How to do script writing Macam ada Shelly uh, cakap How to how to connect with people So that Bila kita jumpa orang Kita berani untuk bercakap 
tak adalah nanti bila jumpa orang gagap-gagap ah, saya 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 nak berkenalan ah. tidak macam tu so we need to learn how to communicate and it's not an easy way lah perjalanan tu jauh tapi that's the important of education and itulah yang saya cakap tadi the level of content creator nak jadi yang macam mana you want to be a good content creator or just content creator yang lalu sahaja ah, so that's my point lah uh, so we've, we've already addressed this twice and I really want to pick it up that It's important, uh, although you can be what kind of crea- content creator you want. You want to be like someone who actually uh, talk about food. You want to talk about architecture. You want to talk about even games. And right? nowadays people are doing it. But it's important to you know really know what you're trying to say. You know, for example, you want to do about food. You want to do about Malay 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 cuisine, kan? Mm. Tapi nasi kerabu dengan nasi dagang pun tak tahu beza. Macam mana nak buat tu kan? So really understand your knowledge of what you want to you know creating the content about that's I think is the important thing yeah true yeah. Uh, so I've we've talked about key skills kan tapi macam just now you talk about macam tadi kan uh, uh. Madden Shelley cakap tadi kalau you, you like content you lengthy-lengthy buat lah kat Facebook uh. Uh, actually that struck me kan kalau macam some of our content creators uh, maybe some of them already trying uh-huh. they're already trying eh, Ikmal dengan Madden Shelley and dia punya promotion strategi tu kurang macam uh-huh. how can they kick up diorang punya promotion kita start dengan macam Ikmal dah ready macam nak melompat ni Ikmal <laughs> okay. macam, ni siapa aku uh, ah, ni, ni soalan tolong aku ni. tanya aku dulu <laughs> uh, okay, silakan Ikmal what will you do I tak terus orang kenal hmm. bila I buat YouTube sendu juga viewers tak sampai 100 kadang-kadang yang view 3 orang ibu I adik I my wife tiga orang okay okay so macam mana kita nak promote ourselves the first one kita kena berani okay if you want to be a content creator you kena berani to expose yourself expose yourself yes contoh okay contoh right now kita ada facebook and I as a youtuber I will promote my video dekat facebook kita cross social media other than that kita ada ads right now right so kita boleh promote dekat ads dekat instagram we use all the platform and kadang-kadang kita ni nak buat content kita pemalu tau tapi dalam kamera kita jadi tak malu. Dengan orang kita malu. Kena buang that thing. Bukan buang sepenuhnya. Tidak. Tapi kena buang sikit. Contohnya kita pergilah promote dekat kawan-kawan. Dekat family members. So sikit sebanyak. They will support you. Sampailah satu tahap. Tak perlukan sokongan mereka pun. Benda tu boleh jalan dengan sendirinya. But yang penting. We must master all the social media first. Before we jump. Tentang apa yang kita nak buat. Ha, there you go. Uh, Iqbal punya jawapan dia daripada 3 orang view ke uh, sekarang average rate view berapa? Alhamdulillah dalam 100k Alhamdulillah <laughs> Kalau kenapa you guys tengok reaction saya dengan Madan Shelly <laughs> ni kena dulu sebab what is your content sir? You say storytelling but what is it about? Yeah. I buat cerita seram <laughs> uh, That you go 100,000 orang tengok cerita seram Iqbal ni See uh, it all starts somewhere and Iqbal have told you his strategies now uh, let's book our book text Madam Shelley what is the strategy <laughs> okay so strategy secara uh, umumnya mm. uh, paid advertising as simple as that advertising okay? sekarang ni nowadays they provide us a lot of uh, opportunity for us to share kita punya product or maybe kita punya videos and whatnot. kan have you ever used paid advertising or maybe macam sponsors dekat Instagram or what not pernah terfikir tapi bajet mahal Hmm, budgeting interesting, interesting. but that is one of the strategy Betul. and another one is uh, email marketing some people hmm. might think that benda ni dah old school but believe it or not you ada Gmail ada Ikhma ada Gmail ada ada tak setiap hari email from your updates tu masuk ada? tak kisah eh, tak kisah syarikat penerbangan syarikat baju or what not masuk ada. dalam spam masuk dalam spam <laughs> that's so sad but still people True, will be using uh, this type of marketing to dapatkan dia punya customers alright interesting using uh, old school tra- traditional methods and new and because mm. not only that we, since we're speaking about new media we also have a course in new media it's not in our faculty of engineering yeah betul in multimedia course yes we also have new media where we will teach you on how to use a camera how to use a software to do editing from zero to you can make a proper video Oh, uh, yeah. because it, it occurred to me like here in our in management and science university in the faculty of information science and engineering FISE we have a course that Ikma have mentioned which is about new media so it's a bachelor's in new media if I'm not mistaken yeah yeah is it also and it involves 
every single bit of knowledge that if you want to make a content creating from like you might have said editing and making a video and there's so many other technical aspects you can learn in the new media if, uh, course yes. even sorry eh? mm. Churi sikit audience uh, Ikmal yeah. Even Even In SES School of Education And Social Sciences We also offer Broadcasting Like what I mentioned mm-hmm. kan? We also ada uh, A few subjects That is related to Content creation lah. Start with Pre-production Production Post-production That is the common thing Oh kita guna, kan? Madam Shelly Dah start guna Big, big <laughs> words already <laughs> Oh, pre-production, <laughs> production. Okay, okay. Even as simple as buat content, Betul. cerita seram. Hmm. Kan? Of course, you akan brainstorm dulu. You akan fikir, oh, hari ni buat cerita hantu asrama. Hari Betul. esok cerita uh, nenek jual kari pub. Hmm. I don't know, but yeah, that kind of thing you brainstorm. That is pre-production. True. Kan? But, uh, sorry, Mencela. Basically, berbezanya oh. Madam Shelley with my program is Madam Shelley ni adalah perempuan macam kita orang bertiga. The front face of the things tapi in new media you will learn on the behind the scene mm. how to handle the camera the lighting part tapi about scripting broadcasting is under Madam Shelly okay guys now we're beginning round one of bachelors in new media and bachelors in broadcasting <laughs> fighting okay betul ke Are you, do you agree ke dia cakap broadcasting kat depan saja ke eh, cuma ni lawan ikma, sikit <laughs> ikma broadcasting ni is actually around this juga oh, yeah. kita ada crew juga yang operate lighting yang buat camera I mean like operate camera hmm. and what not it's just like salahkan broadcasting oh, oh. <laughs> dia nak bergaduh-gaduh pula dia orang ni spicy so <laughs> boleh pilih you know. boleh pilih which one yeah. yang you suka but I believe yang Ikhman mungkin more on social media lah kan hmm, macam I more on TV radio ah, hmm. there you go huh? okay what mama saya nak jadi artis That's one way. Jumpa datang ke MSU. Yeah, uh, silakan. Ada, ada banyak lagi. You ambil kos mana pun boleh jadi. Betul tak? Betul. Oh. Setuju. Alright. We were, we were talking about... Eh, tadi cerita pasal curry pub kan. Tiba-tiba <laughs> saya rasa lapar lah. <laughs> Tapi betul juga. Itu macam... Tapi Madam Shelly... Mm. You cakap hantu curry pub tu kan. Nampak <laughs> sangat. Itu contoh lama. <laughs> oh, lah ya. Yeah, so, actually. So, jumping into the next question. Ikmal, Madam Shelly, how do you... Stay in the current trend Ini oh, yeah, cerita right. pasal karib, hantu karibat tu Betul lah. 20 tahun lepas punya hantu Sekarang hantu masuk TikTok saya dengar Sorry Tapi lah. tak apa Ikmal How do you stay in current trend? We talk about relevant lah kan How to stay relevant in the industry Actually to stay relevant ni susah Sebab social media uh, Industri sekalipun Dia akan berubah every second Kadang-kadang every few weeks Okay berubah trend lain Macam trend TikTok pun Hari ni trend menari macam ni Esok dah tak ada trend menari Trend benda lain Same with food Macam right now apa yang popular Krombolo ni Semua orang nak jual krombolo ni Then after this few days Krombolo ni dah tak ada dah Yang popular apa Jelly ball Jelly? Semua orang nak buat jelly ball Oh interesting So interesting. that's the trend Yang berubah kita tengok Sangat-sangat laju And benda tu yang kita kena kejar As a content creator Kena always update And to do that It's not easy Kena hmm. selalu peka Kena selalu main social media Tak boleh just scroll Kena scroll at the same time Okay take note hmm. ha, Madam Shelly pula Kau hmm. I pula jadi <laughs> Dia pas better dekat I <laughs> uh, Bukan ha. Oh dia uh, silakan nak <laughs> Jadi host boleh Tuan boleh Tuan, ha. tuan ni dah biasa Alright betul lah uh, What Ikma mentioned tu Follow trend tu is really important Satu lagi Nanti UAJI cakap textbook Eh tidak tidak tidak, tidak. Betul. Eh, For your information kena... Madam Shelley ni Ada industry experience Betul hmm. Dekat broadcasting Yes tak? betul hmm. okay, Jangan lah ha? Saya silap lah Minta maaf ya uh, Okay follow trend And satu lagi You need to attend Seminar Conference Benda-benda yang involves in Digital content creation lah kan Tak boleh lah You just Sometimes Orang rasa macam it is easy for us to just create a content. Tapi it's not easy to make sure that content you to entertaining, inspiring. That's why kita kena berguru dengan orang to make sure that we are producing the right content. Kan that's why I cakap pentingnya pergi seminar, pergi conference, call up dengan orang yang biasa buat content. That's the main point that I wanted to share and highlight. Hmm, okay, alright. So there we go. Eh. If you want to go far, eh, be knowledgeable, eh, educated, eh. Conferences and yeah, oh that's interesting. That sounds heavy, kan? Conference, oh. tapi itulah perjumpaan perjumpaan dengan influencer, as for example, ah. discuss lah. Contoh macam I, Ikmal nak buat cerita hantu. I nak buat cerita kelakor. Contoh, okay. but still I can sit down with Ikmal or maybe another content creator lain. Ask them, get experience, knowledge from them. Tapi dengarnya conference lah. Ha, ha, Perjumpa. Ha, yes. Okay, okay. So, like, adalah educational lah. Dia macam orang kata discussion lah. Supaya ha. dia belajar kan. 
Aduh, very interesting lah. Very interesting kat library ni. Banyak ni. Wah, wah ni. Bisa ni. Diorang pun discussion juga ni. Bagus, bagus, bagus. Saya suka lah. Conference. Macam ni. Conference. Conference. Oh, conference. Conference. Semua ni. Oh, bagus, bagus, bagus. Saya suka macam ni. Alright, so. Because we were talking about just now about trends kan. Hmm. I I realize that macam some of them may or may not know. Lepas ni confirm dengan Google. Tapi let's just tell them the answer. What hmm. kind of platform is suitable for what strategies uh, macam contoh tadi kita bagi contoh uh-huh. if you have a lengthy content uh-huh. is like facebook content uh, other social medias how let's say uh, how will you do it In- depends on macam mana kepakaran you nak disalurkan hmm. content creator ni is not only you buat video sebenarnya kadang-kadang bila kita menulis cerita itu pun content creating and sebagai contoh I ni boleh buat video I tak suka menulis that's why I buat video and post dekat social media yang boleh attract viewer yang suka tengok video such as YouTube ha, tapi kenapa I tak masuk TikTok sedangkan TikTok juga adalah video punya base video social media platform for video base sebab TikTok ni duration spend time dia rendah kadang-kadang kita tengok 3 second dah scroll up scroll up tapi video I panjang 30 minutes kadang 20 minutes so tak sesuai dengan target audience dekat TikTok faham ha, so tak. that's why kena pilih your target audience Hmm. What about Shelly? What do you think about platforms True. ni? Because uh, Ikma was talking about cross-platform. Can you like further elaborate on that? How our future content creators can leverage the cross-platform ni? Itulah, I setuju with what Ikma said because kita kena tengok juga what types of content that we wanted to deliver. Macam I, early conversation tadi, I mentioned that oh, if let's say you love to write, kan? Uh, you boleh pergi Facebook or maybe blogging I don't know if it's still relevant or not nowadays but ada juga kita punya audience yang sebenarnya dia punya minat tu readings kan kadang-kadang orang dia suka listening dia suka tengok kan ada yang suka membaca that's why kita kena keluarkan content yang writing form untuk orang-orang audience yang suka write, uh, reading ni membaca tapi through online because as we go digitalize jarang dah orang ada printed form nowadays kan uh, they were all going to digital and then of course lah kita kenalah pergi ke platform digital juga untuk create the content ah, hmm. see still another mixture of traditional and new methods huh? so you guys have to be an all rounder and if you cannot disagree with me eh, Ikmal dengan Shelly eh, if hmm. disagree if you cannot do it hire someone who can betul tak betul, betul tak betul, betul. betul. true, true. Uh, because have a team if you can't do it alone have a team true uh, that's one thing I could say oh yeah, macam saya sendiri lah <laughs> hey, I can be the content creator ke I content creator ke I bagi hit ni Allah kantoi <laughs> but since we're talking about uh, you know tips and skills and strategies juga tadi kan what how important it is okay mm-hmm. how, because we're talking about collab just now like conferences mm-hmm. uh, What about audience engagement? Like, for example, we are talking to them. How important is that? Macam mana tu, Ikmat? Since you're storytelling, how do you communicate with the audience? Before I buat content, before I start the YouTube, I sebenarnya buat research dulu tau. I tak terus ke buat YouTube, terus buat video. No. Kita kena buat research dulu. And pada awalnya, I tak buat cerita seram pun. I just buat review barang-barang teknologi like a camera, DSLR. I review semua tu. Tapi, I perasan dekat Malaysia ni, target audience dia, tak suka benda-benda yang macam tu dia suka cerita so bila I selidik I tengok setiap bulan mesti ada cerita baru cerita hantu baru yang ditayangkan dekat sinema betul tak so kat situ I dapat conclude orang Malaysia ni suka cerita seram rupanya so I try to jump to the horror story and Alhamdulillah I dapat engagement dekat situ sebab apa sebab kita dapat tackle apa yang rakyat Malaysia suka Hmm. So itu juga lah yang boleh buatkan kita stay relevant Kena cari point yang membuatkan Orang nak stay tengok konten kau Understood So what about you Shelly? How Alright. important is it? Audience engagement Alright I nak tanya you sendiri kan As an audience Pernah tak you dengar brand shot sendiri? Saya Or maybe content shot sendiri? Saya pernah dengar konten-konten yang orang buat shot-shot sendiri ada ha. Alright so? That kind of content sebenarnya Uh, I can say that dia fail to attract audience kan hmm. uh, one of the method untuk kita attract audience ni is engagement through contoh as simple as Instagram kalau Instagram users kan ada poll tu kan poll um, poll poll tu poll ya Allah nak mandi pula kita punya ada ni ada poll tu uh. alright poll tu kan untuk vote kan Betul. so that is what we call engagement in which kita interact dengan orang to make sure that they say they think oh I am important the content that I deliver to the audience tu 
kena dengan tepat apa uh, yang your because, followers nak kan? yes because we ask their opinion that is what we call engagement even macam kalau orang komen dekat uh, Ikma I believe that mesti ada yang komen uh, Ikma bestnya next episode buat cerita hantu dalam hutan betul. please I don't know betul betul uh, that is engagement in which dia akan reply to the followers or to the viewers okay and then dia buat that is what we call content engagement Hmm, there you go as simple as either you can actively ask them uh-huh. kan macam tadi yang do a poll in Instagram or uh, the I think number one for interactive or like engagement for hmm. pl- platform I think is X lah kan X. also known as Twitter before right uh, I think they're wrong, like very uh, ni, kalau tanya je tweet puh, habis semua all the questions itu forum engagement. discussion tu kalau yeah. X tu oh, kan oh, memang hmm. tu next level tu Or you can passively just do a content and then if they have, you open the conversation. If you notice, usually people will say something like this. Uh, thank you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Can. So that is something that people always do because they want to do that audience engagement. Betul tak? Yes. Uh, don't worry. I'll do it myself after this. Huh? Mm. Jangan risau. Uh, Call to action. Call to mm. action. Write this down. <laughs> okay, people. Write this down. And actually, bila orang comment, engagement view tak akan naik tau sebenarnya. Ha, so maksudnya kalau lagi banyak komen view tu akan lagi naik view, you punya video akan terus muncul depan depan FYP oh, ha, sebab tu orang nak komen banyak ok ok so since we already eh, dah, dah start dah, dah setiap orang semua dah ready tulis 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 how about kita bagi je ha. what are your advices to our future content creators of MS students or even future MS students out there if they want to be a content creator advices do's and don'ts silakan kita start dengan Shelly pula Paling penting konsisten. Konsisten. Hmm. Nampak simple kan the word consistent but yeah, I believe that Ikmal pun meng- melalui uh, the same situation. If let's say you buat satu dua content and then viewersnya hanyalah tiga orang and then you give up, susah untuk jadi content creator. It's not easy. Walaupun I bukan content creator but I believe so. It's not easy to bagi exposure dekat orang to buat orang tergelak-gelak or whatever kan so uh, you need to be consistent okay and then do and don't yeah? uh, for don'ts I believe that uh, please be authentic lah kan mm. tak ada originality I, uh, of ideas dekat dalam bumi this whole world but please do not copycat orang punya kerja kan avoid plagiarism oh, ah. things like you. that maksudnya you, you have to be true to yourself lah create a content that uh, benefit others benda-benda yang macam tu to make sure that you will stay relevant dalam jangka masa yang lama there hmm. you go nampak tak if you notice and takut I the advice dia cakap don't uh, <laughs> don't okay don't be a copycat yeah. but it's true I agree being authentic is quite important but actually eh, macam Madam Charlie cakap eh, sekarang there's nothing It's not as not enough original content, but like everything is replicable. Like for example, we're doing a podcast. Everyone's doing a podcast now, yes, isn't it? True. Uh, but it's important on how you want to cater your brand and how you want to push your content, isn't it? Not? Now we ask our experience there. Mm-hmm. So, apa lah advice kepada future MS students kita in terms of wanting to be a content creator? My advice: don't stop learning, because we heard that a few weeks, a few months ago. That's a controversial statement where it said tak ada sekolah pun tak apa. Nak jadi content creator just pacak kamera then just go on. Ada But, rotan tak kat sini rotan? Eh saya eh, panas geram betul. saya. Geram, geram betul. Don't Kalau eh? setiap kali dengar tu kan aduh. And susah. when we go to the school also kita tanya okay, cerita apa nak jadi content creator? Nak sambung belajar universiti tak? Tak nak lah nak terus buat video TikTok nak jadi popular. Hmm. And sekarang ni terlalu ramai. But my advice teruskan belajar sebab like I said earlier who you want to be nak jadi content creator yang bijak sana ke atau menjadi content creator yang menjadi bahan orang lain untuk mengejek you sebab kita tak nak malukan diri sendiri tau dan lagi bila kita post something dekat internet benda tu akan stay forever bukannya kita dah post dekat internet rasa macam eh malulah nak delete memang you delete tapi actually benda tu ada dekat internet And one day, bila you nak mohon kerja dekat mana-mana ke, your boss akan google balik about your name, your background. And those things akan appear. Ha, benda ni mainkan masa depan sebenarnya. It's a risiko yang you kena berani buat, berani tanggung. So that's why I said, rajin belajar. Jangan stop. Jangan dengarlah kalau orang cakap, okay, tak payahlah belajar. Content creator ni, you just buy telefon, pacak kamera, then cakap. No. Keep learning. Hmm. Interesting. Keep learning. So that's actually very important lah. 
Uh, if you want to be macam Iqmal, I love that bijak sana because you know sana in the future kan uh, <laughs> bagus ni kalau kita belajar belajar ni tapi takut uh, you want to you want to be famous you nak buat I say I'm not I tak nak cakap lah tapi you you jalan keluar rumah you pakai tuala pun boleh jadi viral betul tak betul tak betul. tapi is that the content you want to you know publish to your friends to your family kan because once you go out there you leave uh, what's we call a digital footprint betul, betul. Uh, you leave uh. so yeah that's kind of what you know content creation is all about there is the pros and cons and you have to live with it betul tak True. so now we have come to the very spicy kita punya segment of the podcast so now we have come to the segment where we're going to read out the questions ah huh? Ikmal and Man Shelly we have already gotten our questions from our kita pun ada audience engagement juga nampak tak ah. <laughs> wow. all right question number one. Ah, oh, we already talked about this but this is interesting how they say it I am a content creator and people have witnessed that I am different my personality as a in the videos and who I am outside are different is it wrong for me to do so kita start dengan abang content creator Uish, soalan dia agak agak bijak sana eh oh. ha, maksudnya dia cakap mungkin lah saya rasa ha. let's say kita bagi contoh dia ni dalam video dia huha huha tapi kat luar dia intellectual dia hmm. macam very the professional ha, dia kalau saya ha. nak bagi contoh senang Mr. Bean tengok kan yeah. kelakar yeah. Mr. Bean tapi kat luar yeah. dia ada masters in in mechanical engineering kan, or engineering uh, so jangan main-main eh? uh, Rowan Atkinson so what about that perspective uh, based on my opinion lah I ada baca dekat I'm not sure buku mana tapi dia ada quote manusia ni ada 8 topik hmm. uh, mukanya ada 8 topik di mana bila you dekat luar dengan orang contoh I dengan Madden Shelly I can be a really formal macam orang bijak-bijak But when I'm with Imran, I can macam, Woi, buat apa tu? Oh. Faham tak? Then bila balik rumah dengan Paris, kita akan macam, Assalamualaikum. Tak buat apa-apa pun hari ni. We really sopan. So oh. that's, the quote said, we have lapan muka. Ha, kita ada banyak sangat toping. So it's not your fault lah untuk depan kamera lain, belakang kamera lain. Benda tu adalah, semua orang ada. Cuma saya dia tunjuk ataupun lah. tidak sahaja. Saya perasan dalam episod ni, Ikhman memang nak cari gaduh lah. Dengan <laughs> kita dua-dua ni. <laughs> Oh dengan dengan Shelly boleh bijak sana eh dengan saya terus boleh huha huha nak cakap saya ni tak bijak oh saya boleh tahan eh laki ni memang saja dia nak buat konten kita ni boleh gaduh ni so like interesting leh kan kalau kita nak tengok kan ada macam kita lapan muka interesting I pun ada juga kalau masa if everyone notice in the previous season kita belajar I also have background in psychology and I study here management and science university kan so like we also like we learn that there are three phases and kita ada banyak ni okay and soal ni social, is it social penetration theory Iqmal? oh hey, hey, sorry Iqmal eh hey, nampak tak ni sebab Iqmal lah tadi cuba host kerja saya Shelly benda pening lah sekarang alamak oh, it's true that's true okay, social penetration theory yeah. I macam I dengar I kemal macam eh geram je nak cakap ah, okay. oh, wahai bijak sana <laughs> Madan Shelly please kupaskan lagi apa nah. the 8 mm. topping tu ke nah, tak adalah in, in this case whereby mm. student tadi tanya tu uh-huh. dia lain daripada who he is or she is so what's okay. your opinion I have like a few friends kan uh, yang I kenal maksudnya dia adalah content creator and it is true dia sangat beza Uh, depan kamera sangat estetik sangat you know uh, orang yang sangat menjaga manners and what not but actually bila di belakang kamera different ya Allah pengotoran uh, <laughs> Allah nak okay. ziar uh, tapi benda tu I think ialah is it reality very, eh? uh, relatable lah because siapa je yang nak keluarkan dia punya bad habit siapa je nak expose diri dia yang not that cool kan sekarang 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 kit kids nowadays they wanted to be cool kan they wanted to be orang yang terpaling in trend and what not but that is good if let's say benda tu can motivate them to be better interesting and then so like, I like the points that Iqbal and Shelly have uh, highlighted here so just of a disclaimer there and uh, Shelly has already mentioned it a bit that so like out there in the social media and everything Disclaimer, not everything that glitter is gold. Eh? So like, for example, what you think like your favorite idol, your favorite influencer, the well, the key opinion leaders, can all these people show in their social media, they're having fun, they're going travels and all. Mm. They look happy. Tiba-tiba cerai. 
Eh, so, bukan. Subhanallah, so, apa ni? Eh, hey, apa ni? We follow the trend. Dia memang. Dia We memang nak cari trend. gaduh dengan semua orang. Dia tak berhati nak gaduh kita dua. Sekarang dia nak gaduh dengan orang luar juga. Ni memang <laughs> cari gaduh ni. But, he's right. Ya, yeah, true. And, tiba-tiba kan. Dia happy, happy. Tiba-tiba. Hmm. Uh. What happen? Why dia gaduh? Tiba-tiba ada ada tiba-tiba trial, trial pun buat live semua kan. Hmm. Uh, so Betul. there you go. Not everything is it seems eh, in social media. So just a disclaimer. Uh, if you are feeling you know macam oh, why cannot be like him? Why cannot be like her? Why cannot be? Calm down. Yes. Everything is just a facade. Eh? Semua ni adalah topeng dalam social media. Uh, 